Not in the 100 years since Abraham Lincoln had the power of the American presidency been completely committed to the equality of the Negro race in the United States, nor had it been on this day, June 10, 1963. In the next 30 hours, John F. Kennedy will have to make a chain of decisions deeply affecting millions of Americans and the future of his own presidency. His decisions will also affect the immediate actions of four people. George Wallace, governor of the state of Alabama, determined to defy a federal court order by personally blocking the entrance of two Negro students to the University of Alabama. Robert Kennedy, Attorney General of the United States, responsible for enforcing the federal court order to gain admission of the two students. Vivian Malone and James Hood, Negro students determined to enter the university in spite of the governor's opposition. Finally, a more far-reaching decision of historic consequence for the president is whether or not to commit the presidency in a speech before the United States and the world behind racial equality as a moral issue. This is the account of a crisis and the story behind a presidential commitment.